a recap of my dumbest video ever made video. Just a little note here, um, uh, before I start this video here. Um, uh, I'm gonna make sure that I do something other than wrestling so I can, so I can, so I can, uh, do other content so I don't seem too predictable. So maybe if, in between a wrestling video, maybe I'll do a, a gaming video or something like that. So I'll think about that maybe. But, here's what I'm gonna talk about today, guys. WCW in 2000. So, for my for non-wrestling fans who watch this video, WCW, which makes sense, it stands for World Championship Wrestling. So, are you still in non-wrestling fans? Good, we're not even a minute in. So, WCW in 2000 was not great. Let's see here. It had, well, it had memorable moments, like... David Arquette win the WW, WCW Championship? Hmm. I get it. They were performing, they were performing ready to rumble. But it sucked, so sorry. Just like WWF did in the 80s. They were trying to promote No Holds Barred. But that movie was actually good. So there. Okay, well, if you say WCW was good in 2000, be quiet. It's not, you're lying, okay? Think about it for a second, okay? Let me see here. Monday Night Wars, okay? Monday Night Wars. You have a bunch of guys, okay? You have older guys, which isn't good. You have Hulk Hogan, uh, Randy Savage, Sting, that's a big one, Sting, Ric Flair, and of course you have younger guys like Jeff Jarrett, and that's about it. And David Arquette is your WCW champion. Let me look something up here. Be right back. Yeah, check out this. Um, according to my research... Which I am very original. No one has done this before. Except me wrestling with regret and what culture and grim tone. Okay, forget it. So, here we go. Here's what I'm going to go over here. So, the date that David Arquette won the WCW championship was on April 4th, sorry, April 27th, 2000. So, this is three years before I was born. And no, I was not a fetus at that point. Sorry. Um, look at that. The compared to the raw ratings from Nitro's ratings from since nineteen ninety nine is pretty crazy. But anyways, um, see here, uh, see here. All right, so it clearly says that Nitro's ratings from that from that day was. Raw 7.1, Nitro 3.1. Oh, what was the next week? Well, Nitro, sorry, sorry, Raw 7.4, Nitro 2.5. They dropped about half. They dropped about, if you, they basically, from... I'm not good with math. I'm sorry. I'm just not good with math. All right. You know, forget math, okay? Forget math. Okay. All right. So here we are. Here we go. This is the end of my YouTube channel. <laughs> Oh boy. So, you have the. Just look at that. It's crazy. And going down, all the way down, you can't. You, they never really recovered. Going into 2001, they never really recovered. It's crazy. Here's an example. Okay. So, the last time they ever won 
when their score was not counting when their score was not answered, it was 1998, where they beat uh, Raw by a slight margin. With the height of the Monday Night Wars, you make David Arquette your champion. <sighs> oh boy. Here we go. Here we go. Indeed. Oh, we got Ted Turner on it. There you go. Here's the ratings comparison right here. So, I'm looking at the ratings comparison right now. As you can see, I probably should stop talking about the Monday Night Wars and start talking about WCW in 2000s. See here, so, um, see, Raw's doing okay. They beat Nitro a bunch of times until Nitro's really exceed, succeeding, and then Nit Raw finally wins. Nitro's still succeeding, and then in June, Raw's finally doing well. And then by the time, uh, well, by the time that Nitro's trying to do well, Raw is already at the top, and by 2001, they're probably dead. <laughs> Rest in peace, WCW. Now, before my video gets too long. I know, it's very long, I know. Alright, so if you don't mind, I'm going to show you one of the reasons it failed in 2000. Here we go. Alright, here's challenge number one. Let's say that your favorite wrestler, um, let's say your favorite wrestler, Guitar Man. It's signed to WCW. You're thinking, oh boy, Guitar Man gets to go to WCW, and he gets to kick people in the face. And then, they make room for older guys like Hogan and all those guys. And then, he decides, hmm. WCW isn't treating me well. I'll go to WWF, how about? Or WWE, if you're not a younger fan. So, eventually, WWF decides, hmm, WCW didn't do well with him, so we'll do with him pretty well, because he can help other company later. And then, here's what happens. He kicks me on the face! And he becomes a megastar. And one of those mega stars happened to win WCW's unwanted mid cards, such as Chris Jericho, uh, Eddie Guerrero, vacant. I mean, Chris Benoit, uh, uh, Dean Malenko. Even they had great success after leaving WCW. Okay, P Perry Saturn didn't really help matters, but. You gotta admit, those four guys really did help WWF a lot. Because it says, because it basically said, Raw is the, ba the place to be. The Cruiserweight division was good, don't get me wrong. But! WCW could have easily been doing this with their stars. This is all the money from that bet I had a few weeks ago. Money! Money, 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 money! Money, 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 money! Money, 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 money! Money, 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 money! Let's face it. The reason David Arquette was champion is because they wanted money. Okay. Uh, Start to get long. But I'll make one last joke for your sake. Unfortunately, I'm. Not great at adding, so this belt is the WCW Heavyweight Championship. Here's what happened after WCW failed in the World Heavyweight Championship became a success. <laughs> wow, you're the crap. See you guys next time. Eh.